Hi, it's Caitlin, and I'm here with a gorgeous new collection from Cleona Cosmetics. This was one of those collections where when I opened the box of polishes, I felt giddy because everything was just so visually stunning right off the bat in their bottles. And also it's one of those collections where there's like no clear theme, which makes sense because it's called the Chaos Collection. So it's just my favorite kind of collection where there's like a little bit of everything, including a topper, which is like always good news for me. And it is inspired by the behind the scenes shenanigans that happen at the Cleona Cosmetics office and warehouse. As always, you can use my affiliate code, which is Caitlin Swatches to save 6% on your purchase. You can use it again and again, and thank you to those who have used it or will use it. These polishes will be available on the Cleona Cosmetics website on April 12th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I will include that down in the description. But like I said, these are gorgeous, so let's just look at them. We'll begin with pastel yellow, question mark. This one is so interesting. It is a muted mauve base with a golden sheen and linear holographic finish. I will admit that I'm so curious to know the backstory behind all of these polishes. I don't have that, but um, yeah, they just all have such interesting names, including this one, which is clearly not a pastel yellow, but that's probably why there's a question mark. This polish, as you can see, has a very strong linear holographic effect, as well as a very strong shimmer. And I'm so excited for you to see this one in the sunlight. It's just incredible. You'll also probably note that it is completely opaque in two coats. It has fantastic coverage, excellent opacity, and a fantastic formula. You will want top coat to enhance the holographic effect. And once you let the top coat dry down, you're going to get this incredible linear rainbow hollow flame. And then out of direct light, the shimmer kind of takes over and it does almost look like a pastel yellow out of the sun. So you can see that hollow rainbow is beautiful. This is a gorgeous polish and it is really quite unique. Next up is Armadillo's Night Out and this one is a grape jelly base packed with holographic micro flakes and scattered iridescent and holographic glitter. All of those things are my favorite things and throwing it in a purple jelly base makes this an instant favorite and classic for me. The formula is also fantastic. This is one you're going to want to build up, but it builds up really, really easily, dries quickly in between coats, and honestly has the most beautiful effect once you build it up in two to three coats, depending on your preference. You can see already from my index finger, if you wanted that really jelly type look, you could go with two thinner coats, but on my middle finger, I went a lot thicker, so you can see it deepens that base color or you can go in with three thin coats to achieve a similar look. And this does have texture due to the iridescent and holographic glitter, but it does smooth out with a layer of really thick glossy top coat or if you wanted a super gel like finish, you could do a glitter grabbing type top coat with another layer of top coat over top. And here you can see just how holographic this polish is. Cleona uses really high quality holographic glitters and particles so you get a very holographic finish. It's not silvery at all, it's just pure hollow goodness in a beautiful juicy jelly purple base.
Here we have Boop, which was just an instant favorite when I saw it in the bottle. It's a sheer aqua tinted base with sparkling aqua to indigo shifting large particle shimmer and a smattering of red to yellow shifting iridescent flakes. This can be used as a topper or on its own and I will show it first built up on its own and then as a topper. This is one of those polishes that I really liked even in one coat which you're probably sick of me saying because I do say that a lot, but it has such a beautifully smooth and even, even formula and it does build up really nicely to any number of coats you want to use, whether that's one, two, or three. And this one, when you do build it up on its own, it won't give you full opacity, but it does cover really well and creates an absolutely gorgeous effect on the nail. Again, I definitely recommend Top Coat just to gloss everything up and create a really beautiful finish. This one is so much fun and I tried my best to show all of the different elements in this polish off in different lighting and this is a really fun polish because it does look very different depending on the lighting you catch it in so it is very entertaining. Here I'm showing Boop over Cracked Polish Sharing Denim Pockets, which is quite literally the perfect base if you want to layer this polish and make it look opaque. I was shocked when I paired them together because they kind of match perfectly. As you can see, the coverage of Boop as a topper is phenomenal. It's totally even, not patchy, not too opaque so that you can't see the color underneath it. It's just perfect. And of course top coat is good for this one because it does dry a little bit flat. These nails layered together are making me think of the ocean and yeah, I'm getting kind of desperate to be by the ocean. <laughs> Next up we have Flying Buttress and this one is a teal to purple to pink to orange to yellow shifting multi-chrome juxtaposed by red to yellow shifting flakes with a linear holographic finish. This one is absolutely wild in the sunlight and Thankfully, the sun was out when I swatched this, so you will see just how holographic and multi chromey this one is. But it does start out sheer and it will build up beautifully, depending on your application style, in two or three coats. And this one is just so linearly holographic, which I really, really appreciate in nail polish. It makes me think of my like original nail polish days and just how polishes were so holographic. So whatever pigment Cleona uses is absolutely amazing and this is one you will want to use a good glossy top coat on and then let it dry down so you can get the strongest possible holographic effect.
And here you can hopefully see all of the many multi-chrome shifts, plus the hollow and the flakes. There's a lot going on in here, but it works together beautifully. All of it is visible and all of it looks absolutely amazing. It looks amazing out of direct sunlight, in direct sunlight. It's a fantastic polish. Here we have 10 drops, and this one's a creamy bubblegum pink base with pink shimmer, teal metallic micro flakes, and a touch of iridescent cobalt and lime flakes. I'm just so curious what the 10 drops means. It's probably an inside joke. Maybe they'll explain on their Instagram, but um, I have no idea. But this is a sibling it's like a pink sibling of the name is escaping me but it was the cleona march ppu polish i believe um it had like a white base and they said it looked like toothpaste so this is like basically the same polish but with a pink base i think um so it's like pink toothpaste but it has a phenomenal formula it's opaque for me in two coats and has fantastic coverage this one does dry down a bit dull, so you will definitely want glossy top coat to finish it off and make it absolutely beautiful. Here we have Smedge Haze, and this one is a warm jelly. It's a brown base with contrasting bright green to aqua to purple shifting micro flakes. This one is phenomenal. It's so pretty and it has such an interesting combination between the warm brown jelly base and those flakes in there. It is truly beautiful. It does have a buildable formula, so you can leave it in two coats if you want a more translucent look, but you can also build it up in three coats for a more opaque look. And again, I apologize for the many sounds you might be hearing in the background. I, I've i just been cursed with neighbors literally surrounding me that have all moved in recently that feel the need to renovate the shit out of their houses. So I will never know peace again until I move. Anyway, this polish is beautiful and you can see it is super shifty. So I will let you look at that so I can edit out the construction noise. And last but not least, we have Stretch O'Clock, and this one is wild. This is a matte black and white shred topper. You can either wear it alone or pair it over another polish. 
So I decided to just use this as a topper because I think it works best as a topper. And I'm going to show it over all of the different polishes in this collection so you can get a taste for how it'll look. And you can see that on one coat it's definitely sparse, but if you go in with two, you get this really wild, abstract, artistic look, which may be based on the name I can only assume is inspired by Salvador Dali. Maybe? I don't know. This polish, I do like the way you can either leave it a little more sparse in one coat or build it up in two. It does build easily. The base to flake ratio is good. And the flakes don't actually dry that textured like a glitter, so they won't be difficult to remove. And they will smooth out with just one layer of top coat. And you can see I'm just kind of playing around with it to get the little flakes in a position that I like. It's not difficult to do that. This is really a beautiful topper. It's super easy to work with and I just want to see more toppers because I love toppers and they just make every polish look different so it helps you get more use out of your collection. And I did apply top coat over stretch a clock and you can see it here over all of the different polishes in the different lighting and how it gives a totally new look and feel. It's really hard for me to pick favorites because I do genuinely love all of the polishes, but Armadillo's Night Out, like beyond the name, the polish is absolutely gorgeous and so fun. I love the hollow, I love the purple, it's very holographic, and I just love like a jelly purple with hollow suspended between the layers. I also super love Boop. It's really fun to use it as a topper or on its own. There are like an infinite number of possibilities probably for combinations with that polish and I'm excited to explore all of them. And then the other one that I really love is Flying Buttress. I just, I don't know, I'm a sucker for a multi-chrome with hollow and that one has a gorgeous formula plus it has flakes. I love the color shifts in it and I just want to wear it again and again. So let me know in the comments what you think of the Chaos Collection. Again, don't forget to use my affiliate code so you can save 6%. And I guess that's it for me and this video. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.